Today on Logan Lee Adventures, I explore one of the most beautiful places in the southern African continent with my boyfriend on top of it all. But first, some overland border crossing mischief between Lesotho and South Africa. Oh. I don't think it's like starting to rain now, more so that we are driving into the storm. Like, yeah. I think we saw it was behind that mountain that... It's not raining yet, right? No, not hard. Made it through and just pulling up to the customs office uh, to go from Lesotho to back to South Africa. And we're here. That's especially easy because he doesn't even have to scan it. It's just he checks his stamp and then if you're inside your time, then he stamps your out and that's it. So easy. So I guess that's why it can go so quickly. That was the first for everything, so we just did a drive-through, literally like the funny a... funny thing is they always have a bridge oh. here. You're always going over a bridge over a river, so that's apparently a natural border or something. Yeah, I noticed that too for like Zimbabwe and Zambia. It was the same thing, like no man's land. So this whole drive-through situation, as you can see there, we didn't have to get out the car to even get our stamps. They just, we literally just give them our passport through a window, just like ordering McDonald's, and then they just give us back our passports. So nice. <laughs> we were driving on such a cool road, as in it's extremely muddy, and because of the previous storm, and there's an incoming storm coming as well. You can see in the distance of all the rain and the flashes. Oh, uh, it's a big uh, hair. <laughs> oh, oh shit, do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, so big flashes of lightning as we're talking and no, we're not driving a 4x4 four four, so it's really rocky getting to our accommodation and our accommodation is like in the middle of nowhere but it's just um, the closest accommodation we've found uh, that's after the crossing the border to back into South Africa from Lesotho. So it's, um, I think we're about two minutes, it says two minutes away. So, literally in the middle of nowhere, and we don't really have much food or anything for dinner, so we'll survive on our chips. Did you guys see that? That was cool. We just checked into Pamula Farm Guest House, or Guest Farm, and our reception lady who owns the farm gave us a nice local bottle of wine. And so it's brewed in South Africa by the Van Loveren Family Vineyards. And so like a nice bottle of red for tonight. And she asked us if she, we have any dinner or we have any food with us and we said no. And she said, well, she can drive to her house, which is just, uh, since this is her farmland, she is just right uh, behind the reception office. And uh, we're going, she's gonna deliver us some veggie soup, which is so cute. This our farm owner lady came by. She brought some bread for us. And this is the veggie soup. And then she brought a bit of butter for the bread. So cute. Look, a cold glass of milk as well. Oh, so cozy. Gazelic, as the Dutch would say. Having our veggie dinner by Lantern Light. <laughs> Good morning, South Africa! So last night we made it through the storm, we had an early sleep and now it's an early rise, it's about 6.30am the sun is just coming up you can see that, but look how beautiful this farm that we are staying on Look, you can see this clouds coming out from the rivers and you see the clouds over there too but you can see how bright and sunny it is So we're gonna hop into our car Drop everything off and then hit the road. Not bad of a damage, not bad of a damage at all. A 
this morning we have a 40 minute drive from the farm that we were staying in to the Golden Gate National Park. I was about to say National Bridge because I'm from San Francisco. But it's uh, called the Golden Gate National Park. And then we're gonna do a hike for the day. Oh, so Highlands. A go go to Highlands. I know, but when I Googled it, I thought it was gonna be. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll see in about 40 minutes what's the actual name and what the park will be like as well. But right now, we're gonna really enjoy this waking up in South Africa. All this beautiful sunlight after yesterday's storm. There are many reasons why South Africa is a country that we constantly return to throughout our travels and life. First, the people. They're warm, welcoming, hospitable. I've made some really good friends who are born and raised here from back when I was living and working in Cape Town. Second, just look at the nature of this country. What a glorious part of the continent that the country happened to be on, surrounded by the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean and these cutting landscape that just juts out of the earth. We made it and cleared up the name it is so we were both right. Golden Gate Highlands National Park. Basically, the whole drive here is so gorgeous. You can see how sunny it is. And every single turn, I was just like, wow, 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 wow. Reminds me of like such great, wonderful mornings in South Africa. Like the mornings are just so special when you wake up before everyone else is when the sun has just rise or even before when the sun even has rubs. And now we're in this beautiful, gorgeous park where there's high mountains everywhere and you just feel kind of insignificant because of how small we are compared to these mountains. And you can see the clouds just rolling out as well behind the mountains too. Starting our hike, and it's already such a gorgeous view. The hike we're doing today is called the Branvak Butris. This is the trail and we're hiking, I believe it goes this way and up around the rock or up straight through the rock so we'll see. But so far the views here are just so incredible and you're walking through all of these beautiful plantations and wilderness. It's really great here. You can still see the moon just right behind the rock. It's such a dynamic landscape that shifts with every bend. <laughs> See, I think the clouds are higher now. Yeah. So I think that diffuse can be quite okay. Golden 
okra and orange hued deeply eroded sandstorms, cliffs and outcrops, especially the imposing Branvak rock deeply captivated me as we hike and adventure through this northeastern part of the free state. Just hiking back now, but we came from all the way up there. Let's zoom in. Yeah, that's where we were chilling. And we're back. So that was our beautiful morning hike. Honestly, I would not mind starting the mornings every morning like that. It was just so peaceful and quiet up there. And the view, the aerial view from above, is so beautiful. It's pretty weird to think that we're down here now. But we're filling up the tank because we're going to continue our self-drive through the Golden Gate Highlands National Park in South Africa. There were passages that we drove on the mountain highlands that felt like we were touching the clouds. That's how high up we were. Nestled in the rolling foothills of the Maluti Mountains of the Northeastern Free State, this here lies one of the best national parks I've ever, literally, hands down, I've ever been to in the world. I think it is so easy to be desensitized by the overwhelming amount of everything that surrounds us and bombard us. News feeds, staying on top of related industry news, always learning about our career, always plugged in and connected, networking, jumping from one meeting to the next, feeling the pressure to socialize. That when we do take ourselves out of these equations, when we truly leave it behind and tune out and escape to nature, travel, adventure, is all that leaves me speechless and feeling, well, human again. I don't think there has ever been a time when we have needed to disconnect so much from the world around us. Political uncertainty, 24-hour connectivity, and the relentless pace of technology need an antidote. I hope everyone has a healthy and fulfilling way of untethering. Hence, this is what travel is to me. This is what being here right now in this moment is to me. This is to savor the simplicity and the chance to be in a world where less is always almost more. Nothing like Debonair's Pizza to end the National Park Day. I'm going to get back to finishing devouring these slices, but subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like and leave us a comment. What do you think of the Golden Gate Highlands? I'll catch you in our next video.